Hey everybody, Sean here from Open Visual Effects, and thanks for coming by for this GeoTracker tutorial. Uh, GeoTracker is this amazing tracking tool made by Keen Tools. It it tracks faces, it tracks props, uh, you know anything in the scene that's not crazy motion blurred or you know invisible throughout the scene. It can probably track it. Uh, really great tool. Uh, they also make Face Builder, which I did a tutorial on a few years ago. You can still see that on my YouTube, on my website, on the Keen Tools website. Uh, if you buy GeoTracker, it also comes with uh, Face Builder as well, package deal, and they work great together. Uh, but we're just going to go over GeoTracker. Um, so let's let's get started. I am going to use a head from that old uh, tutorial I did on Face Builder uh, because I'm also using footage that I shot with that same actor. So let's go ahead and we don't need the cube, we don't need the light. I'm going to delete them both. And uh, let's bring in that head, which is here. Bring it in, append. We want just the head, face builder head. There it is. Uh, you can see it's still got textures on it, which is exactly what we want, as this is the actor we'll be using. And with that head selected, let's go ahead and just hit create new geo tracker. So here's your geo tracker panel. Uh, it's already plugged in the camera, it's already plugged in the head we had selected, and it's looking for a clip, which is why this is all red. Uh, those are the only three things you need to get started. So let's go get the clip, open that up, navigate to where it is. This starts at frame 228. Let's select them all with A, load clip, loads it in, and uh, you can see it also set our frame range down here, which is very nice. And it's asking us to analyze, right? Turns it red because that's what needs attention. So let's go ahead and click analyze. Gives us the frame range. This is good for now. Um, this is useful if you have a, say you have a thousand frame shot and the actor's only in 50 frames of it. Uh, there's no need to track all of it. So just put in what you need. It'll only analyze what it has to. Hit OK. You can see it starts analyzing. It goes once forward, once backwards. I'm not 100% sure, but I think what it's doing is an optical flow uh, calculation, which is tracking pixels where they go frame to frame the whole shot. Uh, so it's, uh, it's pretty intense, I think, but I, I'm, I'm not totally sure. I just think that's what it's doing. So if we go to our camera view now, we've got our footage set up. Uh, the head's there. We're kind of ready to get started tracking. Uh, but one more thing I like to do is kind of get the world sort of in alignment. Uh, we're not going to do a camera track here. Uh, we're not going to uh, rebuild set geometry or anything. But this guy is pretending to be shot in the head, right? So... Uh, we're probably going to do some blood or some particles or something coming out of him. Uh, and those need to fall in the correct direction. Those, you know, uh, there just needs to be some sort of a, a really basic rudimentary scene setup kind of thing. So we're going to do the very bare minimum and just sort of align the camera on the first frame. Uh, I, I have the, the tool in my quick favorites, lock camera to view. If you don't, it's up here under the view tab, lock camera to view. And now lets you kind of position things around. I'm just lining up the X with the um, bottom of the fence. And I'm kind of getting this, the Y is kind of going roughly the direction. And that looks great. So let's go back to GeoTracker. Make sure you turn off that tool. Um, and yeah, now we can get started. So let's head and hit start pin mode. There we go. It looks just like Face Builder. If you did the Face Builder one, you remember it. This is kind of what it looks like when you're building the face. Same kind of, same kind of interface, same kind of setup. <coughs> so here's our uh, few tools for the geometry. What we have, your center geo, click that, puts it right front and center. Toggle pins, uh, um, which toggles the influence of pins. So if you have 10 pins on here and you kind of want to turn off their uh, influence for a moment so you can move things around, you can just toggle that off or on. Uh, remove pins obviously removes them. These are your track forward and backwards. Refine. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a lot of uh, refining that happens, uh, which is amazing. And then you've got some keyframe buttons to work with the keyframes and a few other things down here. But we're just going to worry about the basics for now. Go ahead and grab his nose and put it right there. Put that ear there and put it corner of his eye there. That's a disaster. Put the brow up here. Oh, ooh, what happened? Losing my mind. Let's do chin down here. Uh, I kind of don't want to do his chin much because uh, his mouth is open, which means the whole jaw is moving. So 
nothing under his nose is going to line up correctly anyway. So try not to pay too much attention to that. Uh, people that track for a living will tell you to not, not use the tip of a nose or an ear uh, because those things move all the time with every every uh, face your actor is making um, those things move so don't use them but uh, we kind of don't have a whole lot of choice here in this instance which is fine it's, it's gonna work just fine I have no doubt so this is kind of in the ballpark right this isn't too too horrible maybe move his brow up a little bit there doesn't look too bad. I keep tweaking things and then they, I think like, oh, I'm making it worse. Oh, I'm making it better. Anyway, probably pretty good, right? Oh, no, we can get better than this. I'm going to put a pin back on there and move his nose there because I think that looks much better. Yeah, and then delete that chin pin. Uh, well, you don't really. I'll put it back. Move this a little bit more. All right, that looks pretty good. Close enough, right? So let's go ahead and track it, right? We're on the first frame. Uh, if you if there was a better frame where your actor is more facing the camera or something, you could always just go to that frame and line it up there for your initial lineup. Uh, I just went with the first frame because I think it works fine. And let's track forward. Track it forward. Doing pretty good. Stays on pretty good. Uh, you can see it gets really wonky there at the end. But we're going to fix all of that. So let's go... Let's take a look at, right, so he's moving, he's basically kind of the same until this point where he actually gets shot, right? Boom, right there. Then it starts getting really wonky. Um, but up until that point, it does drift a little bit, right? It's drifting a bit. So let's fix it right there and do our first refine right there. Let's pull this in here, nose down here, get rid of that chin one, get rid of that one. Oh, uh, boy, what did I do? Maybe I shouldn't have got rid of all those, huh? But that's the uh, that's the awesome thing about this is you can just uh, you can just get rid of pins, or add them, put them back, whatever you want to do. Uh, it's a pretty interesting way of working they've come up with. Uh, I, I really like it. Uh, and this, you know, this works with cars or whatever. <coughs> so here we go. We got this. Um, so these refine buttons now, we put in another keyframe. You can see it's kind of yellow right there, just like it was in our first frame. If we hit the refine button now, it's going to refine uh, both directions. It's going to refine between these two keyframes and between this keyframe and the end because we're on that keyframe. If we were one, if we're between these two keyframes with our time slider and we hit refine, it's only going to refine this area here. Uh, you can hit refine all and it'll refine everything. Let's just hit refine once and it'll quickly zip through. You don't even get to see it happening. Um, but now we should have a much better track up until that keyframe, which looks great, actually. Really nice. His eyes are dead on, his ears on. Uh, but then once he goes back, it starts getting wonky again. So let's fix that. Ch uh, actually, let's move the chin, delete that, nose up. Oh, that's the brow, right? Let's move the nose right here. Eye here. Uh, I'd rather do the ear from here. Chin we don't need. Let's pull this eye down here. So there we go. We're kind of getting it lined up pretty good, right? That's not too bad. Ear looks a little wonky, maybe. Uh, 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 I don't like what's when I grab like the chin or the outer e ear I'm not really thrilled with what it's doing but that looks pretty good right there um, and then let's just go to the should we go to the end and just do it let's just hit refine we're gonna leave it right on there where that keyframe is so it's gonna refine both directions and maybe it'll improve the back half a little bit. Nope, sure didn't. No problem. Remove all the pins. If you hit it once, it removes the selected pin. If you hit it again, it removes them all. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and put the nose there. Put this ear over here. Put this eye right there. 
Look at that, already pretty dang close. Get that there. Nose has to be better. Eye should be better. Where's his ear? Where's this ear at? Hard, hard to tell. Uh, but that doesn't look too bad, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right. So now let's just hit, uh, let's hit refine again. Should do that, and maybe, maybe we're close now. All right, looks pretty good. Hey, that looks pretty good. Uh, it's not perfect yet, but let's go in here and take a look at what we can do to make it better still. All right, right there, it's pretty bad, right? It's probably because his hand is passing over. Um, you could make a mask for that in the uh, compositing or the uh, motion tracking mask tab and plug it in on these masks. Uh, but the compositing mask does, it works, but it makes it very slow. It goes very slow. Uh, you could also do a surface mask where you uh, make a vertex group on the geometry, uh, but his hand is moving in such a way that I don't think that would help us a lot here. So we're not going to do any masking. We're just going to refine it and hope that there is enough happening that it nails it. All right, delete that one. Pull that one in a little. Eyes there. Uh, pull that up. That looks pretty good right there. So again, with that, I'm going to leave it right on that keyframe. I'm going to hit refine. It's going to do both directions. And we could be really good now. Ah, it's still off a little bit right there, right? <clears throat> we'll let that play through. It looks pretty dang good. But if you go through frame by frame, you'll see right here we could still use a keyframe. So let's throw one in. Delete that guy. Pull it down here. Uh, delete that guy, pull that in there, brow down a little bit, nose is looking pretty good, uh, pull brow down a little bit more, there we go, that looks pretty good, we're fine, Duh. done, and I bet we're good now, alright, looks pretty good, and there we go, totally tracked on, looks amazing, so easy, uh, yeah, that's just amazing how much time that saves. And now we're ready to add whatever we want to it. Um, there's also some great tools in here. Uh, th these are worth exploring. Uh, this appearance one is very useful. Uh, if your footage is too bright or too dark, you have an exposure control to kind of mess around with it. Um, gamma as well, you can mess with. Uh, one. And then there's uh, pin size, if you can't see them and all that stuff. And then this controls the brightness of the wireframe. So these are useful if you're having trouble seeing the wireframe. Uh, I find those incredibly useful. Uh, and then we'll explore, actually, in the next tutorial where I talk about camera tracking, we'll look at this texture tab as well. Um, but yeah, there we go. That's the basics of it. There's your tracked head exit pin mode, and you've got a head tracked onto him that looks, uh, that looks just great, right? Gray shaded perfect right you can put wounds on there now you can put whatever whatever you want put a hat on him so yeah thanks for watching i uh, hope this helped and uh yeah let me know if you want to see anything else with geo tracker let me know i'm happy to to share this is such a great tool so cool see you in the next one